So let me introduce the wonderful... He's a friend of the radio station. He's a friend, actually, of a lot of radio stations as well as a lot of television stations. He is the wonderful Neil Sean. Hello, Neil. Oh, hello, Joe. Um, showbiz uh, columnist, gossip and, oh, I don't know, presenter and all the rest and journalist and his fantastic mother, who is herself a journalist as well, um, and the wonderful Anne Montini. Oh, hello, hello, Anne. Joe. Hello, Joe. Nice to be here. To, and I do mean it. You do get younger looking every time. <laughs> I you love you, Joe. Me. Um, no, and I don't say it to you. It's all to do. You know you've got Lighting. hair. You've got hair that swings. It's oh, um, yes. I was always when I was at school. I always wanted swingy hair. All the best girls had hair that swings, and oh, yours really? does. Yes. Oh, and John Travolta's got hair. that, but it's not his own. <laughs> <laughs> you are a devil. Now then, we are here to talk about your latest book, which is How to Live Like a Celebrity for Free. Yeah. What a fan fantastic idea because there are so many that do including you mm. and I in fact when I first met you <laughs> no. um, it was no, no but you I'd read about you in the Sunday was it the Sunday yes. Times no the Evening Standard yeah what, that's how we evening? met yep. yeah, yeah the evening was it the Evening Standard magazine something like that yeah when and now if you think about it yeah. people d have done what you did but no one had done what you did yeah. and you just photographed celebrities didn't yeah. you with me with you <laughs> and it was before before any of these Americans were yeah. doing it and all before social networking, long before yeah, mobile because, phones. Because I, I remember we, we actually did this interview and um, uh, it was in the corner of Shaftesbury Avenue with some a coffee shop, do you remember? Mm. And Joe said, I'll treat you and I've never forgotten. <laughs> and um, yeah. and it was this uh, pizza episode. place, do you remember? And we were saying, and you were just bewildered by me. He kept saying, yes, but I don't understand. What, what are you doing with these people? And I said, no, it's what they're doing with me. Yes. And then you were like, oh, right. Yeah, yes. yeah. And, and then you you're right because what you got to remember it's not that long ago though is it really <laughs> joe uh, oh. but what you got to remember is it was like pre sort of uh, digital camera you know you had exactly. to go and take the picture to be developed you, mm -hmm. so you didn't get it instantly and you didn't know if it actually come out this you know? is this is what was and it, it was it was evening standard magazine yeah. that did it and i read it and i just thought this is so inspired because <laughs> no one had done it and did you know what he was getting up to here in oh, the, in the i've always smoke? known what he was getting up to <laughs> <Same> <laughs> idea, actually. Not. was it was, it? Yeah, it was just you know, a fluke thing yeah. he said i might take some celebrities pictures and i said well see that you're on with them Yes. Otherwise, who would believe you were there? You yes. could have got it from any place. I said, no, you'll be with them. Said, That's a good idea. I thought, oh, it's going to happen. And it did. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. And so many people have emulated this ever since. Now, uh, before we go any further, I want to set all of you at home a challenge mm -hmm. because he's repeated what he did in those very early days actually on video and um and this is to not to preempt what we're going to talk about which is the book but it's actually the trailer yeah. to um promote the book which is called how to live like a celebrity for free by bank house books we'll give all the details in a moment but part of the trailer he has at the very end a load of celebrities is it about five i think yeah, celebrities yeah. who come out with the tagline if you miss it you miss out, right? I'm going to play this now, and I want to know if anyone at home can identify any of these voices. Um, and it is tricky because they come thick and fast, one after each other. There's about five of them. Mm. If you can, text or phone Mel, OK? Um, the last one's probably the easiest, and there is an Australian one. So th there you are, there's some clues. But if you guess any of these voices, please phone Mel, because I'd love to get someone um, who makes a correct guess before the end of this interview. Here we go. This is off the trailer for the book. All you've got to do is buy the book. It's out now, and the details are available on the ticket at the bottom of your screen. Remember, if you miss it, you'll miss out. How to Live the Celebrity Life for Free is out now. If you miss it, you miss out. If you miss it, you'll miss out. If they miss it, they miss out. If you miss it, you're missing it. If you miss it, you miss out. If you miss it, you miss out. Now, um, the, the last one, I mean, all of them are pretty damn good. They're all A-list. The last one I'm struggling one is, to know who they are myself. <laughs> <laughs> Anne, can mean? you remember them? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know mm. who they are. About at least four of them. Yeah. 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 Um, right. So I'm looking at the phones. Come on. Well, I'll play it one more time before the end of this interview. If you think you knew any of them, hazard a guess. Anyway, there's an Australian one in there. The last one, I'll just give you a clue. He's a crooner. He's, yeah. he's a fan, well, a hugely famous crooner. Um, okay. So just think, 020-722-4000. Right, the premise of the book then, go on. Well, I'll tell you the premise, truly. Uh, it was, then again, you know, Mum's idea, basically, because 
um, I was down here and probably about the time that we first met uh, and, you know, I was between jobs, as you know what it's like. There was barren periods between crossroads and the next last of the summer wine, Joe. And, um, and but you know, it's true. Always and, playing halls. Yeah, and, no, but, you know, you just, you end up thinking, well, what shall I do? And um, the thing was, I'd made this small documentary. It was one of those things for Carlton TV, people remember. And it was a, like a public information film called Your Shout. And I'd written down, uh, uh, you know, where, where you could get your hair done for free, your teeth done, um, you know, all sorts of things, free clothes. They put it out and uh, it was on like at five to six before the six o'clock news. And then this other company ripped it off, you know, and, and made a, a long running series. Uh-huh. And uh, but, you know, you're green, you don't know how yeah, to do it. Yeah. And I was sat at home with uh, mom and dad. And I was sort of saying all of these things that you can do, you know, because I was back home in Yorkshire saying in London, you could do this, you can do that. And then we started to evolve it as well. Where could you go? you know, anywhere across the country. Then it it was left for about 10 years because working in this other job, meeting celebrities, um, you get wrapped up in that world. Yes. But in between the dead periods, as you know, like when, when you're sort of setting up the camera or whatever, I would say to them, you know, before you were rich, what did you do to save money? Yes. And the bigger the star the more outrageous the thing they tell you because they were keen to make out even though they were worth millions uh, that it were they they knew how to save money so for everybody from jennifer aniston through to the duchess of york mayor boris tells me a great tip and would Um, would this um because we don't want to give too many away because you need you need to read the book (laughs) which he's only just brought in for me and i'm not going to give too much away this is going to be my bedtime reading i'll tell you um but um is it were these money saving tips or free yeah. when they were stars or before they became famous? All before they became famous, right. because I mean, one of them um, we won't say who, but a very famous international singer uh, and dancer and icon, I suppose. Now she was telling me how she got made over in Macy's in New York when she was going for acting roles. And as you would know, if you were, imagine they said, "Well, we want you to look like a homeless person," yes. so she'd go in and. They, they designed the makeup and she'd take a picture of that and then she used some of the makeup artists from this store when she got on oh, film. fantastic. So she was good that way, yes. you know. Now you might say, well, that's a really outlandish one and it is. But then other stars would tell you things like how to get white teeth for nothing by just using strawberry <laughs> juice or orange what? rind. Yeah, if you put the rind of an orange, you know, brand new orange, yes. on ordinary cheap toothpaste, you know, 10p, 20, 30p toothpaste, whatever, and brush it very slowly, it lifts off um, you know, sort of browner marks, and it also gives you very sweet smelling breath. Stephen Dorff told me if you go to Starbucks and take one of their coffee beans and you pop that in, that gets rid of it. That's like a mint to, to freshen your breath. No. Mm. Well, it says the pith of an orange. Good God, I've, I've spent so much on my teeth. I've spent we all? My teeth in my <laughs> no, house. I'm like you. I thought we should have known that. God, <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, so, um, how how willing are they to give you these little bits of information? Because uh, there is, you know, we always we hate to appear mean, don't yeah. we? In this, we hate to appear yeah. miserly or anything else. And um, and as you say, they're worth millions. Most of the people in this book yeah. are worth millions. Um, how willing were they to give you to be appear to be so frugal? It depends, really. A, a lot of them, um, you know, especially when you would said, "Oh, well, I understand." It's just that, you know, um, Jennifer Anderson said this, or you know, I don't know. Lady Gaga told me that. Then you know, Madonna is killing herself to tell you her thing because you know they don't want to appear to be the one yes. that doesn't yes. tell you. And we're really good at extracting <laughs> information. So you say, "So what else did you do?" That's a really good tip, you know. And they say, "What yes. else did you?" Do? But also, it was a lot of the things. Um, the mixed tips of what uh, I did to survive that people don't necessarily know is out there, you know, because when you, you know, I was, I was, um, dad very kindly told me this tip and it was a really sweet one. Mm. When he, when I was down in London looking for work in a hotel to try and keep money coming in, um, in the old days, you remember you had to buy the Evening Standard, which was 50p a night. Yes. But of course, the only way you could look at hotels, you, you had to either try and take a pen into Smith's and scribble the number Yes, down. yes, oh, we've all done <laughs> that. Or, or, you know, yeah. try and mug somebody on the road to try and get the newspaper. <laughs> but Dad very kindly said, look, Neil, if you look smart, and this is the premise of all the book, 
He said, you could go in the Dorchester, Claridge is where there are complimentary newspapers and things will come to you in that hallway for looking smart. And Do you know, worked. Alan mm-hmm. spoke, um, uh, uh, he spoke such sense because you have never, I've never seen you in casual. <laughs> no, but Anne, it, it works. You're always mm. in a suit, isn't he? Oh, yes, and it, it does work. It really does much. work yeah. at a, it, in an industry where not, where people, you know, dre- there's an inverted snobbery, so people will dress down a lot of time. Yeah. And it, it's so interesting you talking about that because I can remember you and I were at a red carpet, I don't know where it was in Leicester Square and we you said it was raining and you went come and sit in this hotel and we sat in the hotel we didn't buy one <laughs> single we didn't buy a coffee we were just eating biscuits that yeah. someone had left on a plate in the, <laughs> that sounds about right and we were just talking all afternoon a courtesy yeah. of this hotel yeah. and if you look okay you can get away with murder because yeah. it for them it looked quite good two people turned out quite nicely yeah. stops the hotel looking empty so uh, they benefit it's actually mm-hmm. easier for girls in a sense because uh, uh, you know, I don't want to embarrass mum, but she's always nicely turned yes, out. Yes, you are. But oh, for women, um, it, it's easy because you can do things. Whereas with a man, if you have to be either in a, you know, you have to, any, you can be casual, you don't have to have a tie on. Yes. But if you've got cufflinks on, it signifies things to people that, oh, they've got money. Yeah, because you're just in coffee. Of course, you know, absolutely. Um, I'm going to. We're getting loads of texts coming through at the moment. I'm going to play it one more time before I read these texts out. Um, to see if you can guess of the, the guess the endorsements on the trailer uh, to this book. I'm going to give you the publisher, the price, and everything else in a moment. But I want to play this out because it's quite interesting, and I love. Most people at the moment have got it wrong, oh, so wow. um, I'm going to play it one more time. Then I'm dying to speak to you, Anne, about um, Emma Dale, only because <laughs> have you? Sorry, but I have to do this. Have you been? watching it recently oh on and off yes because you off. used to write about it didn't oh, yes, you? For that. Yeah. and i'm longing to ask you certain things about emma dale which um hold on hold on to and because we're coming there in a moment right when you hear these voices there are five celebrity voices on the end of this trail if you can guess who they are phone 020 722 4000